season's greetings to you and your nearest. I hope wherever you are, you're having a fantastic time. It's a truly special time, a time for giving and receiving, and all that kind of jazz. And I usually give cards at Christmas. But this year, I held back on a few cards, you know. And I think it's time that they got an explanation as to why I held them back. They might be wondering, God, the postman didn't deliver my card from Stevie this year. I wonder, was it lost? Or I wonder, did something happen? Did he have a terrible accident? No, no accident. No, I'm okay, thankfully. Um, but you didn't get your card for a number of reasons. So without further ado, I'll explain why. This one, see this one here? There was a gift in that. That was for somebody very close to our family. And um, the reason you didn't get it is because I saw you on the outer ring road using the right hand lane approaching a roundabout to overtake cars. Now I know there's an arrow there, a directional arrow to tell you you can go straight on. But you don't have to turn into fucking Lewis Hamilton straight in front of me at the watershed roundabout, you know, just so you can get somewhere three seconds faster than me, you know, maybe four. No need for it, you know? And that's not the first time I saw you doing that either, by the way. So that's why you didn't get your card, you know? Just take your time, slow down, you know? Use the left hand lane for going straight on. Don't be just overtaken in the right. <sighs> Hold on, you know? This one here, again, somebody close to our family, you know? And um, usually give them a card. But I've been monitoring your behavior for the last 365 days, yeah. And each one of those days you've been putting up a little picture of your dinner every single day. And taking a little poxy picture and putting a quote on it from the Dali fucking Lama or somebody else beside it about serenity and peace and whatever else. No need for it, you know. It's fucking meat, two veg and gravy, you know. The Dali fucking Lama didn't do quotes about stuff like that, you know. So just put up your dinner or eat your dinner. You know, no need for it. So next year, you might get your card, you know, if you're a bit lucky. Now, this one here, see this one here? Can you see it? Yeah. It's for a friend of the wife's. Not really bothered if you get one or not, to be honest with you, because it'd be horrible to fall back on. But, you know, I had a look at your behavior and decided, no, not for what you've done, you know? You've joined the Facebook group that I'm in. It's just a Facebook group, you know, nothing ordinary about it or anything but what's the first thing you done when you joined the group you put up this poxy post in the group with a shitty background hi admin thanks for the ad of course they're gonna fucking add you it's a group a group is two or more people you know and as for the admin of the group you know you're not rock stars lads calm down you know what I mean it's a poxy Facebook page you have 200 and something members and you're putting up can't believe all the support from you guys for the whole year it's unbelievable we are so overwhelmed it's a fucking Facebook group you know don't be getting carried away lads so that's your one you know and finally this one this one here yeah that's for a relative of ours and um, we had a debt in the family earlier on the year. Distant related now, not too near related, you know. But still, it's a debt in the family. And what's the first thing they done? Talk to the old Twitter to put up a Can't believe X is gone. He was like a father to me. Can't believe it. Gone so early. He was 93, you know. Tread, one out of 26 tweets. You could have done something a bit more useful with your time, you know. Like organise the fucking funeral. Or inform the rest of the relatives that didn't even know before you fucking writing your thesis on Twitter about him being gone. Before his time. Oh yeah, so look. That's it. That's why you didn't get your cards, in case you're wondering. And uh, have, a, have a great time wherever you are. I really hope you have a nice, peaceful time. Let things off your chest. This is the time for doing it now before we get into the new year and just leave it all behind, you know? Leave it all behind. <sighs> yeah. Leave it all behind. I had another card. I didn't want to mention it, but I'm getting mad even thinking about it. It's a handmade one as well. One of the kids made it, you know? 
A lot of thought, a lot of effort went into that one, as you can see, look, through the Grinch and Santi and everything. Yeah, and you know who you are, that was for you. Yeah, till I saw you. Online, egging for a Jedward DM. Jedward, the saviors of 2020, and tagging them in it, and writing at Jedward, and underneath, putting everything that Jedward ever done, and linking it, and... It was only about three years ago, I remember you putting up a post about Jedward, saying, look at these brand ads, do you know? I'd love to drag that post up and send it on to the lads, yeah. Also, you can get a DM off them, yeah. But anyway, that's it. That's the end of the cards and everything. Hope you have a fantastic new year, and um, I'm not watching what you do online. Much. Just be careful, you know? Be fucking careful, you know? Don't be doing the shit stuff. <sighs> That's it. Peace out, take care. That was a Bruce Lee move, by the way. I was watching a film about Bruce Lee earlier. Man, at some speed! I think I might tag him in this video. I don't even know if Bruce Lee is still alive. Is Bruce Lee still alive? Fuck. Yeah, about that. Whoa!